What's up guys, JB2017 here, and this is your multiplayer gun guide for the AS-50 sniper rifle. The AS-50 is semi-automatic and is unlocked at level 22. The magazine size is very low for semi-auto snipers at 5 rounds. With extended mags, the capacity is increased by 40% to 7 rounds. The ADS speed is average for snipers at 4 tenths of a second. Reload time is also average at 3.56 seconds. The rate of fire is incredibly slow, especially for a semi-auto rifle, at just 200 rounds per minute. Unsurprisingly, the AS-50 is an incredibly satisfying weapon in the hands of a patient player. It has its advantages for both the risky, fast-paced playstyle of quickscopers and the careful, more slower pace of conventional snipers. Let's take a look at the proficiencies for the AS-50. Kick, impact, attachments, focus, and stability are standard for most weapons. Speed increases your running speed by 10%. Quite frankly, there isn't one attachment that's the end-all be-all for the AS-50. Impact and stability are both really solid sniper proficiencies, and attachments can be very useful when combined with two specific attachments that we'll get to later. Hit markers seem to be a thing of the past with the AS-50. In my experiences, this weapon is very consistent with one-shot kills, but the volume of hit markers tend to vary from player to player. Contrary to popular belief, this weapon is just as powerful as the MSR, L11-8A, and Barrett 50 cal. However, the slow rate of fire makes the first shot incredibly important, because it may be your last unless you shoot to kill. Now let's test the recoil of the AS-50. As you can tell, recoil is not much of a problem because the aim is readjusted after each shot due to the fire rate. In general, snipers are most effective at medium to long range, but keep in mind that there is no damage drop off due to range. At any distance on the battlefield, the AS-50 deals 98 damage per bullet. Due to damage multipliers, this means that it will kill in one shot from any range. Most weapons have a 1.4 times headshot multiplier and the AS-50 is an exception to that rule, dealing 1.5 times damage. Also, like other high-powered rifles, shots to the chest deal 1.5 times damage. Limb damage remains normal at 1 times damage. Unfortunately, the small clip size and slow rate of fire increase the difficulty of using this weapon when engaging multiple enemies. One misplaced shot can have you dead in a heartbeat. Another thing that turns many people away from the AS-50 is the amount of zoom on its scope. It's slightly lower than normal, making it a bit more difficult to land those very long range shots. This can actually be useful if you decide to focus on close quarters combat, but the problem can be alleviated with the addition of a variable zoom scope. Options for optical sights include ACOG, thermal, and variable zoom. All other attachments include silencer, heartbeat, and extended mags. I know it's hard to believe, but the ACOG is a fantastic attachment for the AS-50. The combination of the sheer power of this weapon and an ACOG scope is really, really surprising, and makes it very viable in close quarters combat. Extended mags is another super useful attachment. For a semi-auto sniper, 5 rounds per magazine is just not enough. Even though you only get a measly 2 more bullets, it really makes a difference. Some key downsides would have to be the fire rate, mag size, and the lower zoom of the scope. Most of these problems can be corrected with the addition of attachments, proficiencies, and perks, but the fire rate is just something players will need to get used to. For more of an aggressive Slayer class, Sleight of Hand reduces reloading time by 50% and reduces the downtime of having to reload with such a small magazine. Quick Draw reduces the time it takes to ADS by half and reduces the recovery time from using equipment. This transforms this gun into a Quickscoper's paradise. Marksman marks your enemies' names above their heads, revealing campers and nasty head glitchers. For objective players, Blind Eye makes you invisible to enemy air support, cutting down on those annoying point streak deaths. Hardline reduces the requirement for point streaks by one, allowing you to supply your team with more helpful streaks more often. Sit Rep highlights hidden enemy equipment in bright red, allowing you to avoid claymores, beddies, and other types of enemy equipment. For Assault, choose UAV, Sentry Gun, and Assault Drone for a manageable sniper streak. 
For the support package, counter UAV, recon drone, and escort airdrop will sufficiently help out your team. And for specialist, recon, assassin, and dead silence will work well with both the slayer and objective classes. Even with the low magazine capacity and low rate of fire, the advantages seem to outweigh the disadvantages of the AS-50. Unlike most snipers, it has the luxury of being effective at both long range with a variable zoom scope and short range with an ACOG. The AS-50 is an incredibly powerful rifle and should not be underestimated. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please remember to click that like button, it would really help me out, and I also look forward to the next episode, the AA-12. Also, for more of these guides, tips, tricks, anything Modern Warfare 3, head over to my channel at youtube.com slash jv2017gameplay. Talk to you guys later. Peace.